Inflation might sound boring, but it affects everything you buy, from your morning coffee to your Netflix subscription. But how does it really work? At its core, inflation is the rise in prices over time, which effectively shrinks the value of your money. What cost just a dollar in 1924 would now cost $18 in 2024. So essentially, you can describe inflation as the lowering of purchasing power for consumers. However, the government attempts to control this over time with policies. So what fuels this rise in inflation? Putting our economist hat on for a second, inflation happens when demand outpaces supply for goods and services. This can be triggered by many things like a natural disaster impacting crops, causing food prices to skyrocket, or a war disrupting global supply chains. Or actions the government takes also play a big role. For example, printing more money or passing stimulus bills can put more cash in people's hands, increasing demand as people are looking to spend the extra money they now have, so prices go up. Then there's the Federal Reserve in the US, which may lower interest rates so loans will be cheaper, leading to more spending and you guessed it, higher prices. Even something positive like higher wages increases the cost of labor, again leading to an increase in prices. For example, increased wages could potentially lead to higher prices. To cool things down, governments can reverse these policies. By raising interest rates, for example, it becomes harder to borrow money, slowing down spending and easing inflation. But what if prices drop? That's what we call deflation, and it can be even worse, leading to a vicious cycle where consumers stop spending, believing their dollar tomorrow will be more valuable than the dollar today. In this scenario, business revenue may drop, unemployment rises, and the economy stalls. To avoid such extremes, the US Federal Reserve targets a 2% annual inflation rate. It's a sweet spot that's steady and predictable, helping everyone plan for the future and enough to absorb a deflationary shock. Inflation and deflation are like the twin challenges of economic management. Too much of either and the economy suffers. So the goal is to keep it balanced, predictable, and manageable for everyone. Navigating the complexities of inflation can be challenging. Find all the best resources on inflation in a single place. Just click the link below.